Hello guys, and today I came across something called some hot cross pies. Now, I think this is special for Easter, but it's not Easter yet. Um, but nonetheless, I saw them nonetheless. These are actually up to date. I did get them a couple of days ago, um, but they are actually still in date, only just today. Um, so 10th of February today. Um, I can't bother to find any news toys at the moment because my computer is playing up. Um, but I know there's recently a story about Piers Morgan moving his um, TV show online. So anyway, that proves it wasn't like weeks and weeks ago. So I'm going to look it up now. As I said, I've never seen anything like this before. Now often you have over here something called hot cross buns. And it's a, and basically it's to celebrate Easter, which is a Christian religious festival, effectively, and it's celebrated over here on Easter Sunday. And usually on hot cross buns, it's usually got um, you know rice paper cross on it, and it possibly has some currants or things in it. Or other things like that, um, but this oh, not what I wanted to do. Oh dear, right. If something can, can go wrong when you're filming, it will. That wasn't intentional, honestly. Right, I'm just gonna grab another one. This is you can see, put a cross shape on the top of the pie. Um, Mr. Kipling is a sort of brand that's well known over here for cakes and this kind of thing and p apple pies and things like that and basically um, it accidentally took the top off for me so I'm going to show you what's inside it look it's meant it looks to me like a cross between an apple pie and a mince pie okay it looks like they're combined the two okay which I've never seen done before I don't think to my knowledge, I've never seen anything like this before, but I could be wrong, right? And obviously, I've seen apple pies, this sort of shape. Um, and also, this particular one has reduced sugar. They actually brag about the fact they put less in it. So they've said 30% less sugar. So actually brag about the fact that they're putting less in it, okay? So this is the pastry, and it looks like a mince pie. Strange. I think it's really not one or the other. The trouble is they're trying to be clever, I think. But it tastes neither like an apple pie nor a mince pie. To me, the two seem to cancel each other out. So, when you look at the back, it says short crutched pastry cases with a spiced fruit filling. is the back I'm giving the ingredients it mentions a spiced fruit filling which consists of diced Bramley apple sugar Bramley apple puree hermic tant I'm sure I pronounced that wrong I've no idea what that is dextose raisins sultanas modified may starch gram cinnamon gram mixed spice acid we call it acid Anyway, um, I'm good from the 90s, you'll probably understand that. I'm not sure if it's the late 80s or 90s, but anyway. Um, preservatives, um, potassium, sorbate, sodium, metarized sulfite, flavouring, salt, wheat powder, and various other things, um, vegetable oils. Vector fiber, glucose syrup, um, it goes on again about wheat fiber, sugar, dextose, salt, raising agents, preservative, so there you go, and um, I'm not sure if it's got the, um, yeah, it has the um, health um, 
That's that's a close up picture of it by the way. Their version of what it looks like with and without. And here and we've got the traffic lights um health um system where it tells you how healthy the food is, not whether it's gonna kill you or anything, but you know like um how much salt it is, so it's very green in the salt area and um it's low in the um energy section so it's ten percent. I don't know they haven't put a colour on for that. And the fat the saturates and the sugars, they've got it at 10%, um, which is amber, which is sort of average. It's neither good nor bad for you, okay? Um, you can get food over here which is red, it's for people who like it, you know. I know maybe very sugary foods or something, but you know that when you buy it, okay? So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Brand the apple, um, combined with mince pie, in my opinion, to create something called a hot cross pie. Now, I'm trying to put this up. Some of the comments in some times are putting them in a hot cross bun under here with apples. And normally you wouldn't get apples in a hot cross bun. So, I have had a bit more of it, it doesn't taste so bad actually, but I think I just think it's not quite one or the other. They've tried to be too clever, and it's not quite one or the other, unfortunately. But there you go, guys. I've paid full price for this um, because I was so surprised by it, I just had to find out what it was about and what it was like. Okay? So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!